In this video, I'm going to show how I did the super cute and very easy Peter Cottontail inspired nail art design. This is perfect for Easter, for spring, or just basically any time of year that you want to incorporate some spring colors into a design. The base colors are OPI's Alpine Snow, Zoya's Lillian, and Orly's Artist Garden. I'm starting off with my pinky finger and I'm taking some liquid latex. I got this off of Amazon and I'm applying a layer of it around my nail. I did accidentally put too much on, but that was okay. Next, I'm getting the polishes for the gradient. I'm using Zoya's Abby, Zoya's, Lily, Zoya's Elena, and Zoya's Tweety. Sorry about that. Tongue, got a little tongue twisted there. And a makeup sponge. And I'm starting off with the pink and adding a strip of pink. And then the purple and then the blue. And I'm just going to say very quickly that I absolutely love this color combination for gradients. I think it's so, so pretty. And I don't do these, these gradient nails enough. And the reason why I did it sideways instead of up and down is because I wanted to make sure that the um, that I had it placed right because I'm very picky about gradient designs. And my goal for this design was to have like an Easter spring look mixed with some Easter, with mixed with like an Easter egg kind of color mix mix, if that made sense. And I didn't show all of the layers of the gradient that I did do because I did do quite a few layers, and it's because the colors were so late that I just um, that it takes a while to build up. But one little thing I did learn that I will pass on is when you do a gradient design, make sure that each layer is dry before the next because you can end up picking up the base color. And next I'm going to take off the liquid latex and then I did have to do some cuticle work or cuticle cleanup I should say. And the fun thing about that is I didn't realize that I had a paper cut on my cuticle. Next I'm taking Essie's Blanc and a dotting tool. I'm creating the look, I'm creating the size of Peter's head here. And the reason why I didn't use the OPI's polish for this is because that one was getting to the end of the bottle and it was a little bit harder to work with. So I just saved that from painting my nails. And because this head wasn't a perfect circular, circular shape, I just used the body of the brush. And I did do the, the head lower because I wanted to um, have room for his ears. Now I'm just going to take the detail brush and that white polish again and I'm going to create one floppy ear and I'm going to create one ear that's bent because I think it's funny that he has an ear bent. In the movie, He, when he lies, his ear bends and I just think that's such a funny little thing to, that I had to include it. I thought that was really cute. I had to include it. My mom and I love this movie so much and I was like, I have to do a Dale design inspired by Pear Cottontail. I just have to. Next, I'm taking Zoya's Pippa, and I'm just drawing on the collar of his shirt. Now, I will say that when I was doing this design, I did have a picture of Peter Cottontail up on my, my tablet in front of me. Next, I'm taking Tweety again, and I'm applying it to the inside of this ear, and then I'm only doing it to half the inside of the other ear because his ear is bent. And then I'm taking Essie's Press Paws, and I'm just drawing the shape of his nose, which did not turn out right, but that's okay. This was kind of a rough draft of what the design was going to look like. Next, I'm taking Zoya's Chanel and adding his nose. And then I'm taking a black polish from Essie called Licorice and doing his eyes, which I forgot to show the bottle. This is Essie's Forever Yummy. And I'm just drawing the stripes on his shirt, and then I'm drawing his mouth. Again, this did not turn out 100% how I wanted it to, but it was okay. Next, I'm going to be doing the Easter eggs for the, new, for the next nail. And I did already stamp the Easter eggs because for some reason my stamping plates haven't been working recently, but this one did. So I just, um, I used the color Winnie from Zoya as the base and that Elena color again to fill it in. And I'm also using the Abby color, which is that light purple to fill in the Easter eggs. And all I did was I just took some scotch tape and I just basically just pulled off the, the, the Easter eggs that I didn't want on the stamper. For the basket, I'm just taking that brown polish again and I'm just creating the shape of a basket, which I actually wasn't happy with the shape of it, which is why I made the edges a little bit bigger. And then I'm just drawing the handle of the basket And I filled it in with the brush. And this is where I make the basket a little bit bigger. And 
Next, I'm taking that Winnie polish again, and I'm creating a bow on the top of the basket. I just thought this would be a cute accent. And then I'm going to take that detail brush and create a ribbon going off the side of the bow. Next, I'm taking the blue, the pink, and the yellow polish and just doing three dots to make it look like there's Easter eggs in the basket. And then I'm taking that reverse stamped Easter egg and the color um, limestone from Sally Hansen and creating the uh, Lee, creating the uh, grass as well as the Easter egg it laying in the grass. And then I'm just making some simple flowers with the, with the purple, pink, and yellow. And then for my thumb, I wanted to write the word April Valley. And I actually didn't have the placement of this correct, which is okay because you know what? Not every nail art design turns out exactly how you had hoped it would. And I just did um, very, very slow. You can use acrylic paint for all of this. I forgot to say that. But if you do use acrylic paint, just make sure that it is completely dry and then you apply a top coat because it will come off with water. I'm just going to continue writing valley. And I did look up how to write valley because I wanted to make sure I spelled it correctly. And... A lot of the writing I do in my videos, they are uh, capital, and that's because it's easier for me to freehand capital letters, but if it's easier to freehand lower letters, then just go ahead. Next, I'm taking the dotting tool and the pink polish and then the purple polish and creating small flowers, and then I'm going to take that limestone color from Sally Hansen again, and I'm going to add some leaves. And then once this was dry, I added a top coat, and that's it. 